We are giving our second bedroom a complete makeover to maximize functionality in a small area. We're going to transform this 9 foot by 11 foot room into a multi-purpose space in our tiny cabin. We're excited by the challenge of incorporating a Murphy bed, a workout area, storage, and even a laundry space. Very Canadian. This place needs a lot of work. I think We've it's got, got two gals that are ready for it. We started by removing all the old dusty furniture, ripped down the walls, spray foamed the room, laid new flooring, put up cedar shiplap walls, drywalled the ceiling, and finished it off with a texturized paint. As you've seen over the years, the spare room has never really just been a spare room. It was actually always a utility room, a storage closet, a tool shed for all of our materials, a an office. <laughs> it's very chaotic. However, this room and this space has got us through almost all of what we've done here. That additional space has been super helpful. And so that got us thinking, we need to keep it multifunctional. And so shall we start with the laundry room portion of the room? Let's start with it. We very rarely build Ikea and today we're building some Ikea. I also need to add, I think I might actually miss this room a lot. It's, you just shut the door, you don't see anything. It's literally been a locker for us. It looks like my high school locker. It's gonna be so nice to be able to use it for so many different things when we're done with it. I know, but I am gonna miss being able to leave my tools in my house. Yeah, not no more. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear all the boxes? We're using Ikea to build the laundry room area and that's because it is so customizable. You can make everything exactly as you want it and the whole idea behind this project in the spare room is to make sure we have the most space possible. So we are maximizing our space and I can't wait to show you everything we're doing in here. I used to despise building Ikea furniture and I bet a lot of you can relate to that. However, I quickly learned that if you just take your time and look at the instructions, it cannot go together wrong at all. Oh my gosh, do we know it was <laughs> That is not fitting in the room. I know I said I was gonna miss that room. Not no more. Look at all the storage. I can't even touch the top. That's sick. I love this. It's gonna be such a sick build out. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna have to go like over the island. Oh my gosh. Well, it fits. This is so much space and storage, more than we have anywhere else in the cabin. Literally. <laughs> Actually. Chris was standing on a chair, everyone. To think that like, 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 like if you could only <laughs> like see, if you could see how crowded some of our cupboards get and disorganized because there's not enough space. Like for example, the bathroom, we have enough towels for all of our guests, but we have a very small bathroom. This, Game changer. Do you think we could even put some tools in here like sometimes? What, are you hungry? Yeah. What if I put it in like a nice tool case? Okay, I guess that means, <laughs> crinkles so bad. I guess that means you just have to always go to the garage to get everything. Do. Cool, Star. We went with the pretty color of blue. <laughs> cool. Do you like the blue color I picked out? <laughs> Kidding! Sleek candle like our kitchen. Now to fill in the top space. Everybody meet Nana Bobo. <laughs> She's so cute. Nana Bobo. <laughs> Built. Okay, we are now trying to figure out if we should figure out where the upper cabinets go or if we should get the washer and dryer in place. And there's gonna be a lot of back and forth as I think it's what's gonna happen, so. I don't know about everyone else, but I can't believe we are getting a full blown area to do our laundry right now. We had to drive to a laundromat to do this. Not no more. Mm, not no more. This is, I actually am pretty speechless. Does this need to go down more? No. <gasps> <laughs> Bra! Brother! That'll go back a bit. Brother! Now just imagine. What am I imagining? <laughs> oh, yes. It's gonna look like these up there at the top. So it's got like this L feature wall, lots Holy. of storage. 
counter for folding laundry. You know, it's a full laundry room vibe with storage. We're gonna put a pause on that and we're gonna jump over there. Good morning, you all slept in your new home. How was it? Don't worry, it's gonna get more organized soon. Guess who's back? Winter's back. Fall, spring, y'all, fall, spring. Can you do me a favor? Can you start climbing time, please? Phase two of the multi-purpose room. Today, we start building the bed for the bedroom portion of it. And I just wanna remind you all that this 11 and a half by 10 foot room will not only be a place to host our guests where they can sleep, it'll also be a workout room, a utility room, and a laundry room. This is gonna look unreal. That's you. That's me. I do have to say, stand up for a second. I was looking at you. You look quite professional today. The cap, the braid, the long sleeve, the Carhartt, and the steel toe boots. Came out. And here I am. And check out our supervisors. They're always sleeping on the job, but not just in any bed, in their Newton pet beds. The first truly supportive and 100% washable pet bed. The unzippable cover goes directly into the washing machine and the very center, the core of the bed, can go right into the shower or the bathtub where you can wash away any bacteria, hair, allergens, drool, accidents, keeping the bed 100% clean. Izzy is the queen of sleeping, napping all day long, and Bella is the queen queen of panting. And the coolest part is that the core is made from the woven air material, the same material Newton uses to make their crib mattresses. Do you wanna share? Unlike most dog beds that are foam or fleece and trap the heat, this core actually allows air to pass through it, which helps stop the pant. This allows for breathability and temperature regulations. She's really snoring. <laughs> The core also offers superior orthopedic support for young puppies with growing bones, to every dog in between, to our old ladies who need extra joint support. The core does not bottom out. Can't get to the ground. Which means your pet is staying off of the hard surface. Use the link in our description and code VANWIVES15 for 15% off your best friend's new bed. Bella is currently supervising from the large, extra large bed and she is 70 pounds. Izzy is supervising from the medium bed and she is 50 pounds. Supervisor is off duty. First thing on the instructions, get yourself a professional. LOL. In case you need clarity. We're seeing how level the bed is. It needs to be perfectly level to work properly. There's little feet under here that you can twist to help you level it, considering our cabinet isn't completely level. Is any house level? No, well, who knows? Maybe. Probably better than this house, but. <laughs> yeah, the floor is a little wonk, so. It's nice when you have steel toe boots. Oh, it's a nice workout, eh? Yeah. Look at it, you got some weights on the bed, too. Beautiful. And then your wall in the front is perfect. Yeah, girl! Okay. Oh, no. I'm gonna flatten it. Come on! Oh, got it. Okay, now let's go down. Yeah, girl. Okay. Now she's stuck in the bed. Being safety. You're right in front of my camera. All the time. <laughs> well, isn't that a nice change? Yeah, these little plastic caps, you put them on the ends of the slats. Whoa, I just don't like how they're getting out. You pop them in and then they don't, they can't come out. Can't fall out. Makes sense for the Murphy bed because it's going up and down. How much you lift? Oh, it's going back on me. Push it, Chris. Chris. Sorry, <laughs> it's just really tiny. <laughs> Whoa! Try it. Pretty nice. Good job taking care of our guests.
I just made my nicest kindling ever. <laughs> How nice. You can have it if you want. <laughs> Wow, nice one, Bear. I love spring! <laughs> It's so important to get outside at this time of year. The days are longer. It's been a long, bright day, which we we love to see. Summer is around the corner. There you go. I need my goggles. I like these ones, they're pretty cool. Safety. Those are really cute. Safety side and at the top, right? Go down a little? Safety and fashion. <laughs> We are doing the 2% of the job. We're trimming the windows to get it all finished up in there. We're tying it together. It's gonna look so good. What are you oh, doing? but I am planing the edges so it fits in the window perfectly. Look at the storm passing by over your head. What? Get out of here. We really are no longer those 98% gals. Why didn't you tell me I look like a mad scientist? No. <laughs> I think everyone would beg to differ. What? We don't need this anymore. I love cutting big wire. We are on a mission to complete this room top to bottom. Everything must be trimmed and walls must go up to move on to the next step. Good morning. Crystal is currently staring at a bird. And we're also about to bring this room together. Now let's all remember, it used to look like this. Sidney Crosby is pretty good looking, really good at hockey, but he had to go. Step one, we need to install our upper cabinets. We've never done this before. What we need to do is add this little rail that Ikea makes. That way the weight is evenly distributed along every single stud. The scariest part is not breaking anything. This structure has plastic legs. It's 95 inches tall. It's heavy. It's big. What? What? Why are you laughing? Do you not know where it is now? No, it's number seven. And I gave my, my brother's favorite number, but it's not really his favorite number. What? A coach just gave it to him one time. And he had, never mind, it's not, it's not for the vlog. It's all right. I'm just trying not to forget where I'm going. That is for the vlog. You forget? It's seven, I'm thin. Just mark it. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Ah, that's it. Good job. Go. Whoa. We've put everything in its place and we've even figured out how we are going to hide all that hideous plumbing. Because this cabin was a hunt camp when we bought it and pretty abandoned, I don't think the original owners ever thought there would be a washer or dryer in this cabin. So we need to make sure something to hide the ugly plumbing. And I think we finally, after much debate, have the most perfect plan ever. Above the washer and dryer here, we are building a false wall. Apparently a lot of people do this and it's quite common in all areas of the house, so. This type of building is what we love. MacGyvering and trying to figure it out and working with their own hands. I've just turned into a mad woman trying to perfect this wall. I've officially framed it out all the way around and I'm going to make a massive door that opens so it's like a fake door. We now have our frame. We also need to make sure that the counter and the new wall aren't going to hit each other. We're gonna put all the appliances back in there, put the counter on, measure exactly, and fingers crossed everyone, it fits seamlessly. Try it on. Sweet. 
Beautiful. Love it, let's dress it. Because it's we have to put the hinges on here. All trial and error around here, folks. See this? We have to somehow get them. Not enough space for that, so we have to put it on this wall. Okay. Wow. Um, push the bottom a little. Worse. What's going on? I don't think the back wall is slow. I think all that needs to happen is there needs to be a shim. Like we need to cut a, a piece of wood to go underneath that hinge so that it like, it's oh, like. Hinge. Yeah. I'm really confused. Yeah, it's confusing. A few moments later. It shut. Like nothing's ever there. Wow, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Look how pretty it is, everyone. It's so pretty. We have a few adjustments to make tomorrow with some trim, some paint. But it's looking Yeah, good. thinner trim because it's not opening as much as we'd like it. It's looking pretty fabulous. Want to know what's not looking pretty fabulous, everyone? <laughs> this bedroom and our house. We have a lot to clean up. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm not going to bed yet, lady. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. We can leave it if you want. I feel like I was running on pure adrenaline, honestly. You want to leave it? Leave I'll it. leave it. If no. You want. Put music on. <laughs> Pour me a glass of wine and let's clean up. <laughs> this place is a disaster. I knew you wouldn't leave it. Thank you, dear. Good morning. Good morning. And good morning to my love, Dusty. Oh, it's the details, the very fine details. Wish this was a wand. <laughs> and all the trim would be painted. One year later, the stickers come off. Good morning. Good morning. How do you sleep? So good. It's confirmed that the spare room bed is much comfier than ours. The girls didn't even know there was a mattress here last night. They were so confused when the bed came off the wall. It was cute. I can't believe how cool this bed is. This is a nice room. It's so comfy. It feels super clean and there's like, you know, everything's away. You don't see anything. To our future guests, you may never experience this mattress because we may be switching it with ours. <laughs> <laughs> 100% our backs need it. Oh, easy, the edge of the bed. Girls, you love it so much you don't want to get up. <laughs> Good. Okay, Bella, down, down. Come on. Let's go. Come on, go. Let's go. Come on, Bella. She wants to get the house. Come on, Bella. She's like, no, this is the best mattress in the house, Mom. We'll switch mattresses, I promise. Come on, Bella. Let's go. Come on, Bella. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> She's pretending to move, eh? Bella, the pen has to go back in the wall. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Good. Oh my god, she's so silly. I love this bed. <gasps> oh no. But I love the bed. You're ridiculous. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> That's a scary bed. Ta-da! Space. I miss this thing. It's so, I haven't even started it. It's so nice to have this area already. I know, eh? Just a dedicated space. Like anyone could be out there making breakfast, doing whatever, and you have this. You can work out. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> We need a boxing gym for this dog. How good? So good. Spade. Oh, I love it. Spade. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Here's something else. First load of laundry is going in, everyone. 
and we're testing for leaks, so. Just kidding, we're new here. We need to run one cycle first. And that's a good um, leak test. What is going on? It's washing! <laughs> the amount of time and thought and energy, everything that this is saving is just... <laughs> And honestly, so many people always ask, how do you do your laundry or do the laundry? Well, now we do it, there you go. Now we do it at home. We're about to save a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of loonies. Let me remind you all, we are running this washer and this heat pump dryer. Yes, you heard that correctly, a heat pump dryer off our solar system. So that means no water bill and no electricity bill. That is incredible. And yes, I know everyone, we invested into an off-grid system. It's not free, but it is a really cool feeling being super self-sufficient. I'm so excited that we finally have a washer and dryer. I never in my wildest dreams thought that we'd be living off grid and be able to have these types of amenities. It's been almost four years living here without a way to wash our clothes. And now we don't have to think about that ever again. This is the filter that you clean. Everyone doesn't know this and they don't do it and then they think their washing machine broke. She's already into the maintenance. Hell yeah. If you haven't already noticed, these are very compact, so we haven't been able to get a dryer pan yet, or a washer pan, Yeah. but we will be getting one very soon. These are much smaller than normal, so we gotta get the right size. Also, Crystal's gonna hate that I tell you all this, but Crystal's a little fairy at the laundromat. She often leaves extra loonies and toonies for other people to do her laundry. She doesn't like anyone to know. She doesn't even tell me sometimes, but I see her do it. And one time when we were living in the van, it was Halloween, and she dressed up and brought a bunch of candy. And you remember this? To the laundromat and handed out candy at the laundromat and paid Whoa. for people to do their laundry. She loves laundromats. So I'm sorry this is, you're not going anymore, but I'm sure we got to- I didn't realize how much I actually love them. That's hilarious. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you crying? Thinking about those days? That's cute. Yeah, Chris getting a little watery eyed. This is telling you how much electricity you're taking, and this is telling you how much water you're using. Smart machine, let me tell you. I bet this is all so normal to you, but I hope it gives you a laugh of how not normal this is to us. <laughs> it's laundry time. This shelf makes me the happiest human. If you all remember my desk that had all of our gear all over it, not anymore. Everything is perfectly organized, even with wire guiders. Fabulous! Is this your favorite drawer? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with all this storage, but I have to say, it feels so good to be organized. My brain and my insides were not okay with how the room was. It's a game changer for the entire cabin. So much of the cabin was in cluttered. cluttered and in the cupboards things were an absolute mess. Even the closet in here is our utility closet. So that wasn't storage. This amount of storage. And up there. I don't know. Our bathroom's it. better, our bedroom's better, the kitchen's better. Everything is better with this room done. I think I've been asking to do this room for the last four years. Have I not been? Literally, yeah. But I've also changed my mind a billion times of what it was gonna look like. But I'd say we nailed it. I'm so happy it's done. See you Sunday. Ciao. <laughs>